Welcome back to the ch 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 So in today's video, we are taking a look at a new item from Walmart Canada, and that is the Extreme Chompin Spinosaurus from the new Camp Cretaceous line by Mattel. Now, I believe these are just trickling into Walmart Canada right now, as of maybe like two days ago or something. Um, but I don't think they're in the US right now. I don't think they're in the UK. I'm not too sure. So if you have spotted this guy in your store, let me know in the comments down below, because as far as I know, they're just being found in Canada right now. I forget how much I paid for this guy in the store. Um, obviously the value will be in Canadian, but I did take a little video clip snippy dippy of me purchasing both of these um, at my Walmart. $44.97. When I went to the store, I only saw one on the shelf and I was like, oh man, there's only one. I really wanted two. But I looked at the very, very top and there was one hidden in the top there, like behind a T-Rex. And I was like, yes, there's two. So I can open one and keep one minty fresh for later. So the Spinosaurus is absolutely awesome. We first saw the Spino come to life in 2001's Jurassic Park 3, where it fought and killed a T-Rex. Uh, we saw Rexy crash through a Spino skeleton in Jurassic World that was displayed on Main Street. And there was even a scene featuring the Spino in Fallen Kingdom that was cut. The Spino was intended to fight Rexy, run from the eruption and be killed by a fiery piece of falling rock but that scene was sadly cut. And just recently in Camp Cretaceous, the animated Netflix series that follows around a group of teenage campers during the incident at Jurassic World, little spoilers ahead, in season one, episode two, Brooklyn actually discovers a Spinosaurus skeleton on Dr. Wu's computer on a page titled E750 Clinical Trial Results. And at the end of season two, we discover a frozen dinosaur behind a secret tunnel door labeled E750. Maybe it's a Spinosaurus, maybe it's another hybrid of sorts. Who knows what's down there? So if there's any Spinosaurus fans out there, please let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you think is behind door E750. And do you think Spinosaurus is gonna make an appearance in Jurassic World Dominion? Because I do. I do. So the Legacy Spinosaurus obviously had a detachable tail, so it is gonna be a much smaller box, but here is a size comparison. Um of these two. So you got like the whole tail width here. So I believe this is like exactly the same sculpt, right? Like this is Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus Legacy Collection and this is Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus Camp Cretaceous. So the color pattern is obviously different. It's much lighter compared to the darker color scheme of the Legacy Edition Spinosaurus, which is quite dark. I feel like the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus from the movie, that color scheme, I feel like it's somewhere in between these two. I feel like this guy's a little bit too light. I feel like this guy's a little bit too dark. I feel like that movie Spino is just like somewhere right here in the middle. But out of these two Spinos, you know, which one do you guys actually prefer? Which color scheme? The much lighter Spinosaurus or the darker Legacy Spinosaurus? Window here showing the chomping action arrow here showing us where to press, but I feel it's a little bit, a little bit low. It should be kind of maybe about here. You done messed up, Mattel. You done messed up. So there's a button here on the neck and when you press it down, we have that gigantic biting action with its tongue sticking out. And the tongue is on the squishy side. I wouldn't say it's like, you know, fun, squishy rubber, like fun rubber. I would say it's, uh, you know, like just a much softer plastic. Fun rubber. And down below here, we have Toro and a few of the kids, as well as uh, Bumpy and the rest of the gang here. And um, I actually had a few people message me um, and they're like, oh, Laura, uh, good job copying Brooklyn. And I'm like, Dude, okay, my profile picture has always been my pink hair for my YouTube channel for since the beginning of time. And I've always done my pew pew, like I always do that. So just look back at my videos and you'll see I've done it forever. But it's just funny how I've had some people be like, oh, way to copy Brooklyn. And I'm like, Psh. And on the back here, we have that gigantic bite action right here in a few different languages. English, maybe Spanish, I think French, and maybe Portuguese. I don't know. Can I get a fact check on that? Can I get can I get a fact check on Mordida Giganti? And in this wave, you could have also gotten the Albertosaurus and the Sarcosuchus. And you can get that Jurassic World Facts app where you can scan the bottom barcode of these guys on the foot and you can get some information and facts on the Spinosaurus. So let's open this guy up. On the bottom here, we have this kind of perforated cardboard little window here that we have a little tab here that we can open up looks just so easy. 
There we go. And we have these little feety traps here. So all you do is you twist in the direction that it says to twist. So, ow, ow. So I think, I think that's good. Ooh. And then this one, I think I did it. Mm, yeah. This is a really light figure. I thought it was gonna be much heavier, but it's actually quite light. A little bit tight. Oh, I thought I almost broke it. I wish you could like leave the mouth open, you know, like the mouth open like this would be so cool if you could leave the mouth open like that. Whoa, it kind of stayed open, but it closes. It just got caught. So this guy is pretty big. He's about 21 inches long and just over 10 inches high. So let's take a closer look at this guy. Uh, could you imagine a uh, Amber Collection Spinosaurus? That would be pretty cool. Uh, Sidetracked. Okay, so let's start at the top and work our way to the bottom. So of course we have that chomp chomp feature with a very nice set of teeth and they appear a little bit more yellowy, probably because of the color scheme, they kind of appear more yellow um, than the Legacy Edition Spinosaurus. And we look into the mouth, you can see detail on the top palette there. Um, got that tongue and there's all the way you can see in the back there. And even on the bottom, there's some detail on the jaw too. Have those kind of fleshy flaps on either side of the jaw. I really like the gradient effect on the head here. And what's also something new is that little splash of color there underneath the eyes here, which I think is kind of interesting. It kind of breaks up the head a little bit. And this Spino has orange eyes for some reason. Uh, maybe we'll see a Spino with orange eyes in Camp Cretaceous, who knows? But I, I personally prefer the green eye look from the Legacy Spino. The orange just seems a little too cartoonish for me, but at the same time, that orange really does pop and it works really well with the color scheme. So I kind of like it and I kind of don't really like it at the same time. So I guess that cancels each other out. There are two points of articulation on this neck, one right here and one right here, which does allow for a very nice fluid um, kind of movement and pose for your Spino, so it looks very natural with the neck motion. Um, so it can kind of, you know, do anything you want in that sense. But in terms of like rotating the head, it doesn't really rotate. It offers a little bit of rotation, but not that much. Very nice skin and scale texturing all over the body with, you know, varying scale sizes. And that sail is very nice too. Definitely a little more intricate with that lighter paint pattern in there. One thing I did notice is that the very top little sail here does have like a slice going through it. I don't know if it was maybe like a factory defect or this batch of Spinos just had this kind of uh, defect sliced through it. But I did check my Legacy Spinosaurus and the Legacy does not have a, uh, a slice going through it. So just wondering if anyone else has this, you know, new Spinosaurus, does your very topmost sail have a slice? you know, through it. And the sail is not just a solid piece of plastic. It actually has a little bit of give to it. So it's made of more of a kind of like a rubbery, softer plastic material. So really nice paintwork on this guy. I like how the middle part here is kind of more darker and they, they do have this kind of white stripe running on both sides of the spino that the other one didn't. I noticed that there was a nice gradient effect here on the neck where it went from this kind of light brown to this kind of white creamy color. And sadly, they just chinsed out on that and they didn't continue the gradient all the way down to the belly. So so right here at the neck, it stops. And the other thing that would have been nice to see in terms of the paint job would have been some kind of details and definition in areas, kind of highlighting muscle areas and definition. Like the Legacy Spinosaurus, that actually had kind of white, almost dry brushing effects all over kind of um, specific areas on the thigh, on the belly, a little bit on the arms. And this guy is just one solid color. And the arms also rotate, of course, as well. It goes all the way around like that. Um, and also can go side to side a little bit too. So you can actually go out out to the side or you can go inside. And something that I just noticed is that, you know, these foot claws are nicely painted, but then when you look at these little arms here, those claws actually aren't painted. It almost looks, it almost looks like it's unfinished, you know? And um, I actually looked at the teaser images just now and I noticed that the teaser images didn't have painted claws. So it, it's kind of weird. It, it really does look unfinished to me. It's really easy to fix. You know, you can totally paint it yourself, but I mean, it, it should have been, you know, colored dark in the first place. So done messed up again, Mattel. 360 degree rotation with your legs. And also like the arms, they can go out side to side just a little bit as well. And I'm kind of noticing that this guy likes to fall a little bit. It's still not, you know, the greatest the greatest posability for this guy. Like he's probably gonna fall 
It's gonna fall, but there he goes. So just be wary if you are gonna be putting this guy on a shelf and displaying him, you know, in this topmost pose position, just be careful with your other collectibles around here because there is a good chance that this guy can just kind of fall over like this and go boo. He's on his way down. He's on his way down. And boom, he just knocked over all our collectibles. At the ankles, we have 360 degree rotation again with some nice, nice painted claws down there. And this is what is at the bottom of our feet. We have the Jurassic World symbol on one. And on the other side, we have that scanner DNA code. Mr. DNA. Hi, my name is Mr. DNA. Follow me, I'll show you around. Oh no, please, I don't, I don't wanna be shown around. Yeah, 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 oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scan. Okay. Ooh. Scan the marker under the foot of your Mattel Jurassic World dinosaur. And you can get two fun facts. Uh, why isn't this working? Okay, so it's not scanning. I don't understand. Don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Scan a dinosaur marker. Press this. Nope. Gonna press this. Gonna hold it down. Nope. Not nothing's working. Okay, so... No fun Spinosaurus facts for us because this is not working. So the tail is a tad on the loose side. The majority of the time the tail can pose no problem, but there are a few little sweet hidden spots there where the tail kind of can't really hold that position that well and will just flop to the bottom. So all in all, very nice figure, despite a few little uh, critiques on the paint, um, like the gradient not coming all the way down to the belly, the no claws on the paint. But also that sail has that clean kind of cut on the top there and the tail is a tad on the loose side. But, you you know, apart from those things, it's not enough to, you know, make this figure, you know, a thumbs down. This figure is definitely a thumbs up for me. One thing that is kind of annoying me with this Mattel line is they'll have the same dinosaur and they'll have like eight different paint schemes and five different package styles. I just wish they would focus more on, you know, quality versus quantity. I'm by no means saying that it sucks having all these different dinosaurs because it's amazing. I love seeing all the different dinosaur models, you know, dinosaurs that never had a chance to be in the Jurassic Park line. I love the variety of dinosaurs, that's amazing. But when you have the same figure, painted like eight different times with five different package styles, it gets a little bit hard to keep up with. So here is the Spinosaurus next to a Jurassic World T-Rex. This is one of the first T-Rex that came out. Honestly, I don't even remember what this is called. Stomp and Chomp, Clash and Crash, uh, Extreme Chompin. I, I have no clue. I have no clue what, what this thing is called anymore because there's been so many. And then here is the Mosasaurus next to the uh, Spinosaurus for a little size comparison. Spinosaurus with a few of his Spino BFFs, this is the Legacy Edition Spinosaurus. Here is the W Dragon Spinosaurus. And these two are actually from the Jurassic Park 2001, Jurassic Park 3 line of toys. This is the Posable Rubber Spinosaurus. And this is the Awesome Animatronic Spinosaurus, which I think is still the best depiction of Spinosaurus. This is such a cool model. I absolutely love this guy so much. So in the comments down below, I'd love to know what you think of this new Spinosaurus from Mattel from their Camp Cretaceous line. And you know, what is your favorite depiction of the Spinosaurus so far that you've seen through toys and statues? Statues. You know, is it the legacy? Is it some of these cool higher end statues like from W Dragon and such? Or is it the old school 2001 Jurassic Park 3 line? So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary. Bye -bye.